Hey there guys, Frank Amatic here with Life Force. A scrolling shooter, much in the vein of Gradius. I think it's a side series to it. Although I don't know if there are any other games in it aside from the first one. But who cares? It's fun. And I am pretty bad at this kind of game. So let's see what happens. Get that speed. Wow, that was awesome. <clears throat> hey, tentacles. Everybody loves tentacles. And growing walls. And growing walls made of tentacles. Whoa. Well, at least it's not disgusting and horribly organic and never will get that way. Whoops. Like I said, I'm not that good at this. But I should be able to finish it. I have ensured that I will be able to. Because I have finished it this way before. I don't think I wanted to be up here. Oh no, we're fine. I was a little concerned about my choice of path, but we're okay. And what do we got now? Hmm? Ew. Bloody teeth. That's kind of disgusting. It could be worse, though. But we don't want to think about that, because then it will happen. Like veins. Ew. <clears throat> well, you know what they say. You gotta shoot through some veins to make an omelet. I think. I don't know. It's a saying I just invented. How's that sound for you? Whoa. That was way close. I would like to get a better weapon than my default gun here, but... Oh, goodie dropping enemies are popping up. And walls that close behind you as you open them. Awesome. Leaving you very little room to work with. <clears throat> they don't look right when they reform, either. That's kind of cool. Anyways, if this uh, happens to disappear somewhere around the middle of the run, Hurricane Ike, also known as Poseidon's Wrath, probably destroyed my me and everything I own, so... Uh, I was actually a little loath to get this one started with that in the wings, but I think I'll be able to finish it before it's scheduled to destroy us. Awesome! A giant brain. Even more awesome! A giant brain with fucking arms! This is the first boss, giant brain with fucking arms. But that's not his only feature. He also has a horrible, hideous, goggling eyeball. Which also happens to be his weak point. He's also a total pussy. As you can see. So fuck you, giant brain with a giant eyeball and fucking arms. You are now dead. And that brings us to the second level type of the game. Vertically scrolling levels. I don't want a ripple. Ripple sucks. There we go. Laser is my best friend. Because you can steer it while it's in the air, which is pretty fucking awesome. At least I think it's pretty fucking awesome. I don't care what you think. You're not the one playing. I love the music to this level, too. It's pretty cool. Option. Options are always awesome. I'm taking a third option. Well, actually, this is only my first option. 
But I don't care what you think, once again. So shut up. These, however, are probably going to kill me. Yep. That always happens. I'm not very good at negotiating that sort of thing. Whoa. So now I'm slow and lost all my cool stuff. That is saddening. Very saddening. But we at least get it back. Speed first. Whoa. Hey, cut it out, you. Ah! Okay, I like the volcanoes better than I like this. Stop! And they're invincible to bullets, no! Shoot the ice asteroids, dodge the rock asteroids. Unfortunately, they're all... fuck. They're all rock asteroids. And now I'm dead. Oh god. Why did I make this decision? Uh-oh. Three choices. Three choices, and now I'm dead yet again. Man, I am sucking this up worse than usual today. Did I make the correct choice? Only the Shadow knows. And he's kind of an asshole, so don't expect him to tell you. Look! We survived! <coughs> to a big wall of death! At least this one doesn't fill in behind you as you go. Let's take that speed, because we're coming up to a boss! Whoa, shit, 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 shit. That could have gone better. Anyways, this is the first phase of this boss. He spits balls. Which kill you on, on contact. Surprising, I know, but... Uh, I need to play better. Like, a lot better. There we go. And now we fly through his space, even though it doesn't look like there should be enough room to do so. And move on to the actual boss. Who thankfully is considerably easier. Since he doesn't shoot. And bosses that don't shoot are way easier. He just moves around in a circle with his wiggly arms. Which you have to dodge by moving in a circle as well. As fantastically difficult as I know this looks, it's really not. It is, however, a lot easier if you're not on your lowest speed setting. But that can't be helped because I suck. So, a couple of passes. And he'll drop like a bag of mechanical rocks. His arms appear to be lengthening a little bit. I'd never noticed that before. It'd be nice if you'd die, buddy. There we go. Anyways, two levels down, a couple to go, but that is for another time. So, see you next time. Later.